On September 16, 2011, the Justice and Reconciliation Project facilitated survivors and families of those killed in the 1989 Makora Massacre to hold a community theater performance on a transitional justice issue of their choice. The performance was part of our ongoing engagement with the Makora Memorial Development Initiative, or MUMEDI, and the Kumi Network of Development Organizations, CUNEDO, and aimed at generating discussion among the community on how to best seek justice and reconciliation after the conflict in the area. The drama's script and theme was entirely drafted by the actors. In the first scene, the survivors depict rebels entering their community and leaving with a man to later be killed. After Museveni took power in 1986, some men in Tesso took to the bush to fight the new government. The civilians later paid the price of this rebellion. In the second scene, government soldiers, then the National Resistance Army, or NRA, attack Makura and the surrounding community in an operation dubbed Operation North. They rounded up men who were suspected of being rebel collaborators, 69 of whom were later killed in the Makura Massacre of 1989. <laughs> After the massacre, many families became very vulnerable because of the loss of breadwinners. In this scene, a well-wisher comes and offers to take one victim's daughter to school in Kampala. She later returns home pregnant and without the promised education. After the rebellion in Teso subsided, some former NRA soldiers, who originated from the Makora area, were asked to go through a traditional reconciliation ritual, after which they were accepted back into the community. At this point in the drama, the scenes become recommendations. The survivors depict their desire for traditional reconciliation with the government of Uganda. In this scene, the president of Uganda, the cultural leader of Teso, and several ministers and MPs arrive to undergo a traditional reconciliation ritual with the victims in Makura.
Conclusion of the drama. Community members were asked to give their thoughts and feedback. It is hoped that this drama will be carried forward and will be performed at other venues in the future. Before concluding the day's program, the chairperson of Mumedi, the Makura Memorial Development Initiative, formerly the Makura Massacre Survivors Association, recognize the past contributions of the government of Uganda to bury the dead after the 1989 massacre, to build the Makora Memorial Senior Secondary School, to complete construction and renovation of the massacre memorial site, and to partially compensate victims. But he then addressed the remaining gaps and provided recommendations for the government to fill them. But people are not all happy. Why? There are some missing gaps. That is what we are trying to portray in the drama. That the victims' needs are not fully met. One, we request the government to involve the victims in the decision making in the issues affecting their lives to plan for their activities together with the, the concerned person, not to plan for them. Government should come up with a reparation policy to guide their operation. Three, we need to reconcile traditionally with those people the perpetrators, those people who cost the kids who get paid on us. That is why you see people showing more and more and inviting the president and other people to be concerned. So we also long one day when the president will come down and say victims and families how we be concerned according to the tradition of it. That is why Umedi was formed as a voice of the victim. What has taken what, what changes have we experienced since we formed an association? Government has accepted us to have memorial prayers annually on 11th July every year. Victims have opened up. I mean, the survivors and the families have opened up. They are no longer feeling a lot of trauma as before. And our intention, our goal is this performance was one of four in northern Uganda, which was facilitated by the Justice and Reconciliation Project and part of our ongoing efforts to empower conflict-affected communities to participate in processes of justice, healing, and reconciliation. For more information on Makora or our work in other communities, please visit www.justiceandreconciliation.com or email us at info at justiceandreconciliation.com.